Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual class. Today we're going to see rate. A rate is a special kind of ratio where the two amounts being compared have different units. For example, you might use rate to compare three cups of flour to two tablespoons of sugar. The units, cups and tablespoons are different. So here it's three is to two or three by two. A unit rate is a rate that has one as its denominator. To find a unit rate, set up a ratio as a fraction and then divide the numerator by the denominator. So to find the unit rate of 3 by 2, we have to divide the numerator by the denominator. When we do 3 divided by 2, we get 1.5 and we write the denominator as 1. So the unit rate of 3 by 2 is 1.5 cups by 1 tablespoon. So for every tablespoon, we add 1.5 cups of flour. Here, 3 by 2's equivalent fraction is 1.5 by 1. Let's see an example of a ratio. Safira does 30 push-ups per minute. Well, you might say that you said that a ratio is a comparison between two quantities. But you only have one quantity here, which is 30. So, remember that to change a number into a fraction, we write the denominator as 1. So, it's 30 push-ups per 1 minute. Let's see some unit rate examples. 7 days per week, 24 hours per day, 5 meters per minute. But you might be wondering, why are the bottom numbers of all these rates 1? As you see here, the, in these examples, the denominators are 1. Couldn't you have a rate like 15 meters per 3 minutes? We want to convert them into an equivalent rate that has 1 as the bottom number. That's because whenever the bottom number represents only one unit, it makes comparing different rates much more easier. So, we have 15 meters per 3 minutes and we want to find how many meters in 1 minute. So we have to divide the numerator by the denominator. So 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the numerator of our answer will be 5 and the denominator will be just 1. So 5 meters per 1 minute. Linda jogs 42 miles in 6 hours and Tim jogs 30 miles in 5 hours. 42 miles in 6 hours can be written as a ratio 42 by 6 and 30 miles in 5 hours can be written as 30 by 5. So, since both denominators are different, we can't compare them straight away. So, we have to convert them into unit rate. A unit, unit means one. So, in order to convert a fraction into a unit rate, we have to divide the numerator by the denominator. So, 42 divided by 6. 42 divided by 6 is nothing but 7. And 7 can be written as 1. So, Linda can jog 7 miles in 1 hour. Now let's convert for Tim. So 30 by 5. So do 30 divided by 5 which is 6 miles and 6 can be written as 6 by 1. The numerator denotes miles while the denominator denotes hours. So Tim 
can jog 6 miles in 1 hour. Now it will be easy for us to compare because both the denominators are the same. When we compare Linda and Tim's rate, we get to know that Linda jogs faster. Let's see another example for easy understanding. A car can travel 150 miles in 10 gallons of gasoline. What is the unit rate per gallon of gasoline? So, per is nothing but divide. This can be written as 150 miles is to 10 gallons. Or it can be written as 150 miles by 10 gallons. So, we have to divide 150 by 10. 150 divided by 10 is 15 miles. And 15 miles can be written as 15 by 1. So, the unit rate per gallon of gasoline is 15 miles by 1 gallon. For each 15 miles, it is 1 gallon. So if the car has 1 gallon of gasoline, it can travel 15 miles. Thanks for watching.